Arc faults in electrical circuits create heat and can cause fires. Arc faults can occur where insulation faults exist. For example, insulation damage by penetration, cable abrasions, aged or failing insulations, which can expose the conductors and cause an unintended current path to exist. Arc faults are also caused by pressure, compression, impact, reduced conductor size, and by loose or poorly made terminations. There are two types of arc faults, serial arc faults and parallel arc faults. Arc fault detection devices detect and disconnect dangerous arcs to prevent fires. What does a dangerous arc fault look like? So we've established that there's a number of causes of arcs. But in order for combustion to occur, we need three things, heat, air and fuel. So let's take the example of a damaged cable. The cross-sectional area is reduced, creating a hot spot, and there's no stable arc at this moment. But the hot conductive material oxidizes and the insulation carbonizes. Heat increases. Eventually, the copper melts and gasifies and sporadic arcing occurs across the carbonized insulation material. The arc then stabilizes and can reach temperatures as high as 6,000 degrees. Ring circuits. Does an AFDD operate on a ring circuit? Contrary to what you might have heard, arc fault conditions can occur on ring circuits and AFDDs will detect and disconnect these faults. There are two types of fault, serial arc fault and parallel arc fault. Parallel arc faults can occur at any point in a ring main, including spurs and appliance leads from socket outlets. Serial arc faults can only occur in the radial connections to the ring, such as spurs, appliance leads, extension leads from socket outlets. AFDDs will detect arc faults wherever they can occur in or attached to ring circuits. A broken ring becomes two radial circuits. Serial and parallel arc faults can occur in these radial circuits. When an AFDD is powered up, it runs a self-test function. With Electrium devices, this self-test function will be repeated every 15 hours. The integral test button can also be used to test the device every six months, as recommended by the wiring regulations. If the AFDD trips, the fault status indicator will show which type of fault has caused the device to operate. A single repeated flash indicates a serial or parallel arc fault. A twin repeated flash indicates an overvoltage, and a triple repeated flash indicates a residual current fault has been detected. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that's been of use to you. But just one final note. The Siemens technology that's used in Electrium AFDDs is already protecting over 5 million circuits. So if you need any further information, please contact us or visit our website at www.electrium.co.uk. Bye for now.